Beneath clear blue skies, a rundown tower block is surrounded by scaffolding and cloaked in plastic sheeting. Discarded rubbish bags flutter in the breeze, and a sign reads, No Ball Games. An exterior light, spotted with cobwebs, beams above the entrance. In the lobby, a handwritten out-of-order sign is positioned between the entrance to the lifts, alongside a sad face emoji. In a gloomy corridor is door number 94. Title on screen, Capsule. Inside a brightly decorated living room, eight-year-old boy Jay and his grandmother lie on the floor chatting inaudibly. Strewn nearby are scrap paper and pencils. On the wall is a religious artwork, framed baby photos and a child's drawings. The grandmother uses her inhaler. She holds her breath, then places the cap on the end. Her view of the living room is blurred. On a sideboard is the inhaler, a tray of medications and yet more baby photos. She lies on the floor with her eyes closed. Jay beside her uses a wand to waft bubbles through the room. So many bubbles! <coughs> Catch them! Catch them! <laughs> Catch them! Make them go high and then... Uh, Come on, some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me, give me, give me some more. <sighs> Jay's nana splutters. <coughs> oh yeah, I want to show you my drawing. It is a sprawling oak tree with the setting sun behind it. Des describe it to me. You're sleeping. I'm resting my eyeballs, but I'm not resting my ears. Come on. Describe it to me. <sighs> Just of a tree. Just a tree? I've never heard of is just of a tree. She takes his pencil, then holds it in front of his eyes. Tell me, what do you see? Pencil? Really? Hm. I see a wand. A wand? That can change people's minds just by waving it. Now, back to your picture. Tell me, what do you see? On a table are a pile uh, of final notice bills. It has... It looks like a regular tree, but really... It, it's like a special machine. A special machine? That gets rid of all the bad stuff and makes everyone happy. Come. It gives us all the good things, like arts and bees and friends, good food. Plantain? Oh, and quavers, yeah. Chin chin? <coughs> but also the dream tree machine. The it, dream tree machine? Yes. <laughs> it, it wraps its arms around the world and helps anyone that sick or if they don't have money for sweets or bills. It gives us friends to cheer us up and squishes all the bad stuff out, like homework and bullies and, and coughing. And it looks after everyone, no matter what. I wish it was real. Me too. She takes his hand and clasps it between both of her hands. You know, besides giving us clean air to breathe, trees live for hundreds of years. And they have special underground networks where they share food, water, communicate, and look after one another, just like a team. No, that's not true. Really? Yes. Wow. Mm. Like our Auntie Mildred next door brings us jollof when you're not well sometimes. Or when you made clothes for Rachel's babies. 
Hey, maybe we could work together with the trees. Jay rushes to the window and presses his ear against it. His <laughs> nana giggles. What's that, trees? Yes, we're ready for our mission. What do you need us to do? So, what do they say? Black screen. Nana is propped up in a chair. Through blurred vision, she sees Jay enter the room in a genie's costume, carrying a box covered with a blanket. What are you wearing? <laughs> Drumroll, please. Introducing the Dream Tree Machine. It's a way of helping each other. When you need something, you write it down and put it inside the machine. When you can help with something, you shake it, then take one thing out. It's perfect. Back to the living room. So, what do they say? A tree sprouts between two buildings. They said, just like if we look after real life trees, they look after us. And if we look after each other, we can create our own real life dream tree machines. They might not be like the one in my picture, but they can always make a difference. Sometimes you just need to see it and make it happen. The lift opens to reveal the dream tree machine made of cardboard boxes, brightly colored hand drawings, pipe cleaners, and cutouts. Black screen. Text on screen. Capsule was commissioned by Bristol Climate and Nature Partnership as part of the National Lottery-funded Community Climate Action Project to creatively explore the theme of a just transition. A just transition recognizes that climate action and social justice are interlinked and need to be tackled together. Uella wanted to emphasize the importance of dreams for a just transition, dreams for your family, for your future. To develop the film, Uella also held community engagement events to help understand what a just transition meant to others. These highlighted the importance of connection and conversation for sparking action, however small. What dreams for a just transition does the film spark for you? Closing credits. Writer and director, Uella Jackson. Producer, Izzy Carveth. For Bristol Climate and Nature Partnership, the executive producers were Amy Harrison and Kaylee Jackson Baker. Cast. Nona was played by Nana St. Bartholomew Brown. Jay by Thierry James Belogan. Special thanks to Sid Boyer, Sam Green, Anita Atwell Beals, Neoka Belogan, Christine Murray, Sonia Murray, Lacia May Brown, Films at 59, Eastern Community Centre, ACH, and Bricks Bristol. Audio description by Screen Language Limited 2024, supported by the National Lottery Community Fund.